very much, Joshua, for you know showing the relationship of uh, these uh, three programs. So I'm going to talk about exactly what Voice of Kibera does uh, 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 from day to day. One, Voice of Kibera is a website uh, which is actually you know referred to most of the times by us uh, a community uh, media uh, platform for sharing free information within uh, Kibera and the world at large, global voices included. So this is an idea that you know sprang up sometimes back in 2010 when guys had already done a map of Kibera and everybody was asking himself this question, we have created the map, so what? what how is this map going to be used? How are people going to feel the effect of us, you know, going through this thick and thin, collecting points in rain sometimes? So this is how the voice of Kibera was uh, uh, born alongside the uh, uh, Kibera News Network. Basically to present this information uh, 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 that we collect in the field against where they come from and that is where the map uh, uh, came in as a, you know, a very wonderful tool. Uh, for us being able to share this information and you, even if you don't have an idea of exactly what Kibera is all about, you can be able you know, to understand. So this is exactly where this kind of news happened using the, the, the directions on, uh, on, on, on the map. So I think there are two important things to mention uh, how we feed uh, the website. It's not really looking good and I don't know why, Okay, so uh, the way we feed information to our platform is number one, we use a simple mobile phone. Uh, we have a number, 073, and then, uh, sorry, 073, 8, 5 times, and then 30 at the end, where, uh, uh, you know, we, we, we want every other person to interact with us in terms of sending text messages to the platform and say, I'm so and so, fire has just broke out, for example, in, 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 in Lindi, one of the villages of Kibera, and it comes to our site. So we have, we have a group of six people who are editors every other time. They go to the back front of this website to try and, you know, proofread, try to make sure this grammar looks nicer, if not good, for purposes of being able, you know, to put it live on the site for people to see. That's a very important aspect of our work because again, you know, as much as we are a community media, we need to observe the, the, the media ethics and uh, regulations so that we are not found on the wrong side of, 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 of our work. So this number is, is, is really very easy to, for somebody to remember. If maybe you just look at it three times, you're going to have it at the back of your uh, uh, mind. And therefore, that's one of the ways we use to get information. The way number two is basically by web submission, uh, which is this tab here. So when you hit on that tab, which says submit a report, for example, you are connected on, on, on some internet somewhere, you just want to hit on it and then it takes you to a, a way you can write everything uh, you want people to know about. And then when you finish, you are, you, are, you are going to uh, be able to see some button down there, which says submit report and then you can hit on it and then we have the news. So it's just us to go and update and make sure it is on the site. One important thing again, uh, when we have this news and sometimes, you know, news can be controversial, news can be sensitive, news can be mere jokes. So it is our work, for example, if you are using a phone, to get back to this person if we really are in doubt about what has been reported, to ask, did it really happen? Or because we live in Kibera, it is also our job to, you know, with our networks uh, around, to ask, for example, another party, so that, you know, we can get really a clue or reality of what exactly happened. So that's how we do it, so that we can be able to put something on the site which is credible for purposes of making sure at least everybody is updated with what is happening in Kibera. The, the other thing is about, we also do blogging. We are very young at blogging, but I, I'm sure with the uh, global uh, uh, voices, there's something, you know, we can, you know, interact on one-to-one, 
online in you know getting some of the you know uh, skills to make sure we up our game in terms of uh, blog uh, reporting and you know yeah have different interactions to make sure you know our work is in tandem with international standards I would say uh, something of, 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 of this sort and you know just making sure again we want CNN, we want Al Jazeera to be looking up to us to provide this information because we are on the ground, we live in Kibera, we know every other corner of Kibera. So this is a short presentation about Voice of Kibera. So if any person has a question about uh, uh, anything or how Voice of Kibera works, there are contacts on, on the site which is uh, voiceofkibera.org. You go on it, you'll find the contact voice of Kibera at mapkibera.org and you can reach uh, to us. Or right now, if you have your cell phone, you could say, okay, yes, I failed to ask this question through that number. We'll find it and we can get back to you so that, you know, we, 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 we expound uh, the discussion uh, because of time right now. So, but can we, can we ask questions? Absolutely, that's, I, I was coming to that. If you have any question, you are free to ask. You don't ask a question for Voice of Kibera only. We are here, everybody. So if you feel you had a question to ask for Kenan, you had a question to ask for the mapping team, you can ask for a general question. We'll be happy to answer this in this short time. So we move to the next thing. Thank you. Yes, uh, I just wanted to ask about this mobile phone number. Yes. When someone calls in, is it a paid number? I mean, do, if, or is it like a toll free? It's like, uh, do they get charged the for it? To, the call one has to pay. Yeah. Yeah, so, so what would what would motivate someone to use an airtime and pay and call? You know, like, how does it work? Yeah, maybe I need to introduce my colleague, Freddy. He's also my colleague at Voice of Kibera, so he can be able to try and respond on, on, on this question. So, first of all, when you understand the word of sharing information, that's such one question why they should be sending in reports. Secondly, the, the rates of sending in reports are I, I mean, the mobile phone services within are very cheap. You can subscribe for free SMSs and then like 10 shillings and you are able to send more than 20 SMSs to of charge. So this is an encouragement to everyone who is sending in the reports. Another thing that the fact that somebody sent in the report and is able to see them displayed on the platform and seeing making or being some change in one way or the other, they are encouraged to send in more reports. I mean, the month six to test it, how many, uh, so how many reports do you actually receive? <coughs> that might be also because then you know if it's used at all. I don't, that I, so on the presentation I don't, I don't have numbers on like how many reports are submitted online, how many reports are submitted by phone, do you have those numbers? Yeah. Uh, the statistics right now, uh, we don't have exact statistics, but I would say, I would say it's also still a challenge because if you see Kibera in the larger perspective, you realize that, you know, uh, uh, my basic needs are not your basic needs. Uh, I want shelter, I want food, I want uh, uh, clothing. So the other things come as, you know, secondary or tertiary in, in, in their view. So it's again, you know, uh, 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 a lot onto us, which we really are proud to, to push on, so that people understand there can also be a basic need of you reporting about what happens in your surroundings, of you learning what happens in the other uh, village, so that you know, uh, as much as you are looking for the basic needs, which are three, you can have you know, a reformed uh, mind when you are looking uh, for them. So that is done through forums. And uh, we, are, we are having a forum, I think, in three weeks time to try you know encourage people we can be able to share this information we can be able to to, to use a one shilling cent information that is going to help three four five people if you are having one shilling and you're helping five people honestly won't you be proud so that's something you know is a challenge yes we admit but we need you know to do this uh, more and more and i think forums will really help so yeah